Hi everyone, this is Niall from windowsnoob.com and today I want to talk to you about a new feature in version 2010 of Config Manager uh, current branch. And that new feature is listed here in the what's new. And if you click on protection, you will see that there are improvements to BitLocker management. And uh, it says that you can now manage BitLocker policies and escrow recovery keys over a cloud management gateway, right? So this is a really cool feature. Um, it was released uh, initially in the technical preview release of Config Manager um, back in October, I think. And I blogged about it on nilebrady.com, but uh, it is now available in production. So if you upgrade to Config Manager 2010 uh, using the fast ring method, um, then you can try this feature out for yourself in production, as long as you have a cloud management gateway, of course. So let's go through that, but let's first of all, start looking at the client itself. This client, as you can see, is processing group policy from the domain controller. And if I go to the configuration manager uh, properties, you'll see that it, the connection type is listed as currently intranet, which it is, right? So if we look at the IP, uh, address, uh, this falls within my on-premise environment uh, IP address range. So let's uh, flip it and we're going to pretend that this is a mobile warrior or whatever and that this, uh, this user is taking the computer uh, home and uh, <clears throat> uh, obviously when they're at home, unless they connect to a VPN, they're not going to have access direct access to the uh, domain controller uh, or the configuration manager on-prem server. So getting this policy uh, would not be possible previously to this release. So if we look at the uh, IP address now, we should see that we're on a different range and we are. And if I try to, for example, ping the domain controller, if I try to ping the domain controller, I can't and I won't be able to, yeah, it can't find the domain controller. So the reason for that is because it is now flipped over to the internet. Um, you can see here, it says currently intranet, you have to close the config manager client agent and open it again. It takes a couple of minutes before you see that flip, but it will uh, flip and you can actually track that uh, in a log. And the log is called um, client location, let's see find that client location client look there it is so let's open that one up and you will see where it flips from the on-premise environment which is just here uh, over to the to the cloud to the CMG so here's the here's my CMG cloud attached CMG dot um, and what that means is it is now going to be listed as internet so shortly after you see it flipping from the on-premise infrastructure to the internet infrastructure, it will actually say that the domain, the client is in internet. So it hasn't stated it yet, but it will. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> it's still figuring out where it's at. Okay. Let's see. Still thinking about it. Let's close and reopen that one again. And see, has it changed? It does, it has changed. Okay, so it says currently internet, perfect. So now the Config Manager client agent understands that it's um, talking to the CMG, which is this one here. Um, and if we go to the configurations tab, you will see that there are none. And if we look at this uh, computer's hard drive, you will see it's not encrypted at all, right? It's not encrypted, it's not bit lockered, and this one does not have any bit locker policy applied to it yet, okay? So let's go back uh, to the conf config manager server. And if we look here, we can see we have my active client. Uh, it's this one, it will show up active soon. Um, and if we go to our, endpoint protection bit locker management policy that I previous, previously created 
back in 1910, I think. Um, and then I've upgraded it to a CM2006 and now 2010 or 2010. Um, what you have to do to get this working with this uh, release is either create a brand new BitLocker management policy, uh, which is a little bit tedious, so we're not going to do that, uh, or just go in and edit the one that you currently have, which is what I am going to do. So we'll say um, editing existing policy after upgrade to 2010, right? And you'll see we've got the apply button there, but let's go to the client management tab. And because this is a lab and I want to speed things up, I'm gonna set it to one minute. Um, you should uh, in production have it set to 90 minutes or something more reasonable. So um, yeah, this looks good. Remember, I clicked on the client management and the general tabs before clicking apply. And I'm doing that now. And what should happen is our BitLocker management policy in Config Manager should flip from Rev1 to Rev2. Uh, and that's expected. Okay, so now what's remaining is that we find our device, which is, um, which one is it? This one here. And I'm gonna add that device to our BitLocker management collection, which is this one here. Uh, currently has no devices in it. So I've just added it and we wait a couple of moments and hopefully everything will go as planned. I've been reverting my labs multiple times now to test and verify this. So let's hope that everything goes according to plan. So the device is now in the collection. Let's trigger policy. But before I do, let's flip over to the client, right? Let's go to the client. We can see there's no configurations. Let's also go into control panel and programs and you should not see any MDOP client agent. It's not there. As you can see, it's absolutely not there and it won't be until it gets the policy. So let's um, get policy. And that should take a minute or two for it to get the policy. And once it gets the policy, um, we will see the MDOP client agent getting installed. The BitLocker management handler dot log will record lots of interesting things about what's going on. Uh, so why don't we open that up and monitor it live? Yeah, I can see things are happening in the background there. Yes. So don't worry about this. You'll see this in the beginning. Um, it will, it will fix itself shortly after. Um, I noticed this earlier. It, it does look kind of scary, but don't worry about it. So remember I set the uh, policy to re refresh every one minute. So if we, if we just check the settings here, we should see that it is set to one minute. Yes, it is. Uh, that's good. Um, and remember what I said, don't worry about this. Initially, you'll see that, but on the second attempt or so, it will succeed. So uh, it's literally just processing policy now. Uh, if we go here, we should see the configuration is listed, and it is, and it's listed as non-compliant. So if I was to click on evaluate, I think we'll see something different happening. And it says key for volume does not need to be escrowed. Recovery keys escrowed to MP. So actually what this means is it has done the needful it has escrowed the recovery key to the management point with, uh, via the cmg remember it can't communicate directly to the mp uh, the on-prem mp i should say but it can communicate uh, with the cmg mp right so basically this uh, this client is getting its policy from the CMG and it can even get, of course, uh, software from the CMG as well, uh, such as applications and stuff. So it's, it's literally out there like a, a typical remote client. Occasionally the user may uh, connect via VPN back to the on-premise infrastructure in order to access a network share or whatever. And look at that, just by magic, as if by magic, the policy enforces the MBAM UE 
and it should even tell you there attempting to launch the MBAM UE, uh, it starts the encryption. So we should see that the icon here for the disk has changed, and it has. It's now got the little BitLocker management uh, icon to tell us that it's encrypted. And if we were to look at the uh, recovery information, manage BDE protectors, protect, protectors, C. Let's try this. Uh, nope. Uh, manage BD protectors get. C. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so here is our recovery ID. So why don't we go to our on prem infrastructure and C has the key magically appeared in the database. And if it has, all that communication of the recovery data has gone via the CMG, as if by magic. It is brilliant. This is a brilliant new feature uh, for Config Manager. And if you, you haven't looked at it yet, because of the lack of this feature, well, now you've got no excuse. It's live, and it's working, and it's brilliant. The program managers have done an absolutely brilliant job on this. Right, so let's see. Go down here to recovery. This one here. And let's see, do we have our recovery information? Worked the previous three times I tried it. So here's the key and C0AD3F51. That does look like the, the uh, one here. Yes, it does. And there it is. So Basically, what you've seen here uh, in this video is how we, we modified um, the BitLocker management policy only ever so slightly, just to make sure that the client picks up the new changes. You didn't have to do that. You could create new policy and it would do the same thing. Um, we also looked at the BitLocker management handler.log to verify things were happening. Um, and what we saw was that this client, even though it had no direct connection to the on-premise infrastructure, no direct uh, connection to the domain controller, no direct connection to the uh, config manager uh, management point on-premise infrastructure, it still received policy from the CMG to tell it to encrypt the drive. And it did exactly that. It encrypted the drive and uploaded the recovery information to the on-premise infrastructure, all via the CMG. Absolutely brilliant, amazing. Try it out, guys, and I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down and maybe tell me why and what you'd like to see in another video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Goodbye.